Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for Taurus. We're going to take a look at um, some general stuff. Let's see what's coming in for you. Let's see your career and finances. Those of you dealing with someone, also new love and see what's going on there. And I'll pull an oracle card at the end. Keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book a reading with me. But let's get started. What's going on for Taurus? What's coming to Taurus? Taurus, you have someone coming towards you. They're showing up as a rich man. It could be somebody you know that does decent with finances. However, um, you could have a history with this person because I am getting this person thinking about the past, whatever that means. Let me get two. It doesn't have to be a man. It could just be somebody really set in their finances. So if you're a man watching this, you're like a rich man. I don't want a rich man. It doesn't have to be a man. There's no actual gender in tarot. That just means there's somebody with kind of like that boss boss energy to them this could be very much a woman this person could be having some legal trouble i feel like you're gonna hear about it i'm laughing because i don't feel like this has anything to do with you i feel like it's something that they might get you to feel bad for them over i don't know what else is coming up for Taurus? You might hear of this person. This could be you. I, I hope not. What else is coming up for Taurus? False person. I got that same thing for Aries. Be careful. Unexpected money. High honors. Be careful that you're not being um, love bombed or, or trying to, I don't know. It, it, it feels like the energy of someone trying to put you on this pedestal, trying to buy you things, trying to give you things with false person and unexpected money, especially with high honors being there. Clarify false person. How would you know who this is? For some of you, you'll know who this is because they have issues with their left arm. That's not going to be every single Taurus. But for some of you, this person has maybe some pain shooting on their left arm. I just got that. I'm the type of person that I'm like a very physical empath. So sometimes I'll get physical pain from whoever I'm trying to describe. So that'll probably be for one of you. This is someone you have feelings for. The thing is that you're doing really good with your finances and it's like this person almost wants to be in your energy because of it. If it's not just your finances doing good, it's it's your social life. I am also seeing you doing really well with money. Some of you guys are going to be spending a lot of time at home. Um, or I feel like you might be a homebody. It's like you're focusing a lot on your finances. And somebody is trying to come in. Okay. What else? What else is going on with Taurus? So be careful with your money. Be careful with um, who you let into your home. Be careful who you let into your home. Wait a minute. This is probably the same person because it's there's an expectation here of wanting maybe success with this person. The thing is, this person is trifling. This person doesn't have sincere energy, sincere love. So be careful with that because I feel like they might know how to manipulate your emotions. Um, I feel like you have a real big soft spot for this person. You already know who I'm talking about. It's almost like they keep you trapped in your 
they keep you trapped in and thinking that something is going to change here between you and them and it doesn't you could be dealing with a scorpio i do have my, my scorpio card here but it's almost like you can't stop thinking about this person there's a lot of ruminating there's a lot of um i don't want to say obsessive thoughts but like you know they're not obsessive in in a in a bad way i guess you think of good things when you think of this person but this person is not the one they're showing me that their intentions aren't good with you but you might think that things are going to change with them it's kind of like what it's showing me so if that's something you're dealing with be careful with that oh i hate saying stuff like that okay what's coming up for taurus It's coming up for Taurus. Watch out with your finances. Ooh. What is this? You have somebody really wishy-washy in your energy. Okay, so I'm getting that you have somebody who is probably trying to affect your finances in some way. I feel like someone around you is this is weird this is weird because it gives me the energy of someone who you possibly wanted a commitment with at some point however it's like they didn't let you go but they didn't want to be with you either that's so weird well they're gonna be needing some money so it's like they're going to be the ones coming at you. Either that or you're just doing better than them. Let me get running. Let me get two for running. Yeah, they lost their chance or you did giving money. I feel like this person tried to buy your affection at some point. I feel like they had this energy of really wanting to give to the situation and then they really didn't pull through because they do give me the running, running card here. So they really didn't want a commitment, even though they were trying to give to it. There's an energy of them trying to keep you stuck. Clarify bankrupt. They could be having money issues at the moment. Yeah, it's like maybe they went up for a new job and they didn't get it. I don't know. There's something there like that. I'm seeing you not wanting to deal with this person in the future. If it's same shit, different day at the bottom of the deck. Forcer. I feel like this person is very pushy. So it's like if you block them, if you, if you do anything like that, they still try to find their way in. So be very careful with that. That is like some stalker kind of energy right there. Like not taking no for an answer. What's coming towards my single Tauruses? Singles. What's coming towards my single Tauruses? Not dealing with anyone. Home. See you spending time at home or even working on your home. Spending a lot of time with family. Communication, true gem. I feel like you're going to be talking to someone soon, maybe through text messages. I feel more online than anything else. Tell me more about this person. This person's spiritual.
This person comes off as an air sign. Also, maybe having more than one job or something, maybe a job and a hobby. A little bit detached. And, and I feel like you guys are going to have a very intense connection. Um, there's a level of mystery to this person. However, they do seem spiritual to some extent. Short term is here, so I feel like, let's see, it was at the top. I didn't grab it, though. Does this have any longevity? Yeah, courting man. So it doesn't mean it's a man. It just means a courting person. So it's like this person is going to really give you some effort here. And your past love is going to, like, be bugging out because that's coming out, too. I, this is not the past person. However, I feel like the past person could try to be blocking you from this new person coming in. So be careful with that. If you have a past person, if not, then don't worry about that. Like I said, general readings. You do have someone here coming up who's going to be interested in you. Very interested in you. What else can you tell me about this person? What can you tell me about this new person coming in? Ex-lover. They're dealing with someone also in their energy. Ghosted. And travel. I feel like this person likes to travel with ex-lover and ghosted. I feel like they also had to cut out somebody from their life. I don't know. I said also, so maybe you have to do the same thing. I don't know. But this tells me that they definitely had to pull away from someone and keep their distance. I feel like this person is getting over something when you meet them. Intuition and family. I feel like you're going to get really good vibes from this person. This person could have kids. This person could be a very family-oriented per person. I feel like they have a strong intuition with those cards being there. Faded meeting at the bottom of the deck. Definitely something you're supposed to run into. I feel like the next connection that you have, it's going to be someone who, um, who's going to be interested, yet a little detached. And I feel it's because they're going through something on their own end. So that's what I got for you for new love coming in. Go to career and finance. Let me get some career and finance messages. Okay, I have automate, finance, learn, create, appreciate, and journal. Automate automatically, uh, automate automatically gives me the vibe that you might be like investment savvy or know things like that. If not, that could be a good avenue for you to explore. I don't know if that's um, <clears throat> actually investments. I don't know how to invest. I might know, but I don't know enough to give advice on it. Let me just say that. But this is saying that you might know how to invest. If not, there's, there's something here about really learning um, for passive income. Finance, learn, create is you creating something. Um, maybe you're starting a, your own business. Maybe it could be an online thing that you're trying to work on for yourself. Doesn't have to be. But this is you really um, taking the steps to do what it is you have to do. Create a plan for yourself. Some of you guys could be in the beauty industry. Some of you guys could be in an uh, industry where you feel like you're really giving back to a community. Make sure you have your, your money in order to make this happen for yourself because I feel like you do. 
Now I'm just going to read the cards to you because that's the message I'm getting with what's coming out. Also, make sure you're writing everything down. The reason I say that is you might get a little too busy and there is a very intense energy here of journaling. So let's go ahead. Automate. Develop ways to add passive income streams to your business so you don't have to work so hard. Earn some income while you sleep. Finance. Make a monthly budget for your business and personal income and expenses. Always be clear and specific about your finances. Learn. Work with the mentor to implement the right strategies to get the business results you want. Be open-minded and enthusiastic to learn. Create. Get creative in your own business. How can you break the rules in your, in your niche? How can you create momentum? How can you zag when all others zig? Appreciate, practice gratitude as part of your sacred daily ritual, feeling deep appreciation for your blessings, manifest more abundance and joy, and journal. Keep a journal of your business journey. Write down all of your dreams, desires, and goals. Paint a picture of the lifestyle you want and review it daily. Even doing like a vision board would really work for you right now. What else can you tell me about Taurus's finances? Finances for Taurus. Why is that? I'm getting it being difficult at work for some of you. You might have a lot on your shoulders. You might be the breadwinner in your family. The thing is here that you might already have a really good career and I feel like you might be building on something else because I'm seeing you being in the King of Pentacles. So you're already doing really well. However, this is showing me that you're even taking a step up. Some of you guys could be becoming your own boss. Some of you guys are up for promotion and it's like you have a lot of your own work. Sorry, I didn't know that that was on. Uh, some of you guys have your own work to do and you need to work on maybe your own thing. So it's almost like having a step up, having more responsibility. If you are looking for a promotion, you might be taking on more than you can handle to prove yourself. So this is saying, give yourself some time. With the 10 of wands being here, I feel like it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Whatever you're working on, it's gonna be worth it. So I do see you taking a step up from just being an employee to being like the boss is what I'm seeing here. So that's what I see for you. Let me pull an Oracle card. I thought I had my phone on Do Not Disturb. Let me get an Oracle card for Taurus. Got it. Awaiting results. I just got that. Didn't I? Didn't I get that for Aries? You can have Aries in your chart. Check it out. Yeah, I just got this, but I got it again. So here you go. Awaiting results, keywords, patience, assessment, outcome, alternatives. You put the energy into creating and attracting the relationships you desire and are eager to see the positive results. Patience is needed. However, reshaping attitudes and beliefs takes time. Refining yourself so that you'll attract just the right person is a process. If you find yourself becoming frustrated at the apparent lack of visible change, Step back and focus on something other than your relationships for a while. When you're feeling more detached, you'll be in a better position to notice any improvements. If you've invested enough time, then take a moment to evaluate your progress. Are your efforts bearing fruit? Are you seeing the desired changes in your interactions with others? If yes, excellent. Carry on. If not, it may be time to shift your approach. Look for alternative strategies to affect the change you desire. What works with one person may not work with another. When working on yourself, be sure that you are being true to who you are and not simply following society's formula for relationships. Soul Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.